Hello from Click Community. We're a newly formed group whose aim is to make North Stonehouse a better place to live, work and play. To add a little shine to our streets this winter, we've teamed up with Art and Energy, a collective who work to make beautiful things that also give us green energy. They have a vision to transform the luck of solar panels through art. With your help, we're going to create a solar advent display for the talk shop, celebrating what you love about where you live to light up Stonehouse. Now here's Jenny from Art of Energy to show you how to create a solar art panel. Hi, I'm Jenny. Hopefully you will have received one of these creative packs. So we're going to open it up and have a look and see what's inside. We've got your rectangle of Perspex. We've got an instruction sheet. You probably don't need to read this if you're watching this video, um, but it's just useful to have for refreshing afterwards if you've got any questions. Um, my mobile number and email address are on there as well, so don't hesitate to give me a shout if you've got any questions or queries afterwards. We've also got a template sheet, a sheet of blue stickers, paints, a couple of paintbrushes, a black marker pen, a mysterious little blue parcel, which we'll come on to in a minute. Please be careful not to bend it or what have you. And some kind of creamy coloured paper. I'm going to pop the box to one side. Now the big sheet of paper is to protect your worktop. So we're going to start with the template sheet, the blue stickers and the little blue parcel, which I'm going to invite you to now open up. And inside you will find a piece of solar cell. It's quite fragile, don't worry if you break it. It's um, really quite fragile, a bit like eggshell really. Um, these pieces, we've been doing lots of research at Art and Energy to do with cutting solar cells um, and playing with them in different ways and unfortunately there have been some casualties along the way. These ones on the back, on the silver, the positive side there, you can just see a tiny bit of whitey silver. Um, we need a larger section than that in order to, to tab on and to solder onto it. Um, so we've put these in the pack because we at Art and Energy think that renewable energy, solar cells, solar panels are this amazing technology that really should be celebrated. But for most of us, seeing it on a neighbour's roof is as close as we get to it. Even solar panel installers never get to touch this part of the solar panel um, because they're fully encapsulated when they leave the factory and, and you know you can't kind of open it up and, and fix it. Um, so when the photons from the sun hit the blue side here, this is, I always think about if I'm having a blue day, I'm having a down day, I'm feeling negative. So this is the negative side of the solar cell. And when this, the, um, the photons from the sun hit the that side of the cell, it gives the little electrons enough energy to pass to the silver side. So I always remember you have to look for the silver lining, the positives in life. Um, and that flow of electrons is electricity. And it's magic, really. But as I say, that kind of hands on experience, hopefully it will... I don't know, um, stir some questions in you and have some conversation about energy and our relationship with energy and where it comes from. So that's a little bit of an aside. So the artworks that you're going to make today are going to be painted onto these rectangles of perspex and each one is going to include three solar cells. And once we've got all of your artworks together, we'll be able to connect those up in order to create a charge and charge batteries that can then be used for lighting and so on in future projects. So what we need to do is to create some little windows in your painting in order for the sunlight to reach those solar cells. We're gonna do that by putting stickers onto the Perspex before you paint your design. Um, and then after you've returned them to us, we will then remove the stickers make those little windows and we'll be returning in January to be able to attach the solar cells. For now, these artworks will be appearing one per day throughout December as a sort of advent display um, in the talk shop. So the first thing we're going to do is to think about your design. Um, and this is where the template sheet comes in quite handy. Now, there's a few hints and tips around the sheet there. Number one, 
is that the sheet of perspex needs to go that way around, so wider than it is tall. And these will be going into wooden racks in the window at the talk shop. And so we'll miss, we'll lose just a little bit of a strip down either side. But what I'd like you to do is to paint over the entirety of one side of the perspex. And each of the artworks needs to have three of these stickers. Now I've included a lot more stickers here. Um, that's because you can really use as many as you'd like in your design and then we'll just remove three of them. Um, the other thing to bear in mind is that these solar cells will be needing to place them onto the back of the design and so we would ask you not to put them too close to the edge so the stickers mustn't go too close to the edge they need to stay within this dotted line and also not to get too close together so that we're able to place the solar cells onto the back without them overlapping. So on your instructions there's a little list here with some guidelines for how to place your stickers. As I say within the dotted lines not too close to one another leave about a centimetre and a half um, between the stickers if in doubt it's just over my thumb width. Um, the solar cells are dark blue so it's worth keeping that in mind for your design. And also we've included more than three stickers. So as I say, you can put more than three stickers on there if you'd like, but we'll only be removing the three. So I'm going to have a bit of a think about what it is I want to do as a design. Um, now, we would like to invite you to celebrate Stonehouse. So that could be thinking about its rich history, striking architecture, the diverse community, but also just being vibrant and colourful and expressive in your work would be wonderful. We'd love to have 24 very different artworks. Now I'm going to use a couple of ovals and a square in my design. So I'm just going to draw on roughly the size of the stickers and roughly where they're going to go. So I'm going to have make sure I've got that centimetre and a half apart. Those are going to be where my stickers are. and then sketching in the rest of the design around. Now, one thing I haven't mentioned is that we're going to be using a type of painting very similar to a reverse glass painting. We're going to paint onto one side of our perspex. At this point, it doesn't matter which is the front and the back, but we're going to put the stickers and the painting all onto one side, and then it's going to be viewed from the other side so that the perspex protects your artwork. So that means that if you are including text in your design or if there's a particular landmark that matters you know, right to left, which way is the right way round, then you'll need to reverse your drawing. One way to do this is to draw it onto your piece of paper and then look at it, hold it up against a window and you'll just be able to see the outline to be able to draw that in. But for now, I'm going to keep it this way round. So I've got my stickers here and I'm going to peel those off. And pop them on my design. Roughly where I want them to go. So now it's time to add the paint. This is household emulsion paint. So um, it'll kind of wash out while it's still wet, but once it's dry, it's pretty hard to get out of clothing, for example, worth wearing old clothes. Um, this process of reverse painting on the perspex or the glass, it takes a little bit of getting your head around. Um, so I'm starting with the detail here. Uh, it's kind of the opposite to doing a watercolor, for example. So I've painted in the windows and the flowers there and you can see that I've turned it round very carefully because the paint's wet in order to have a look at the other side and see what it looks like. I've fast forwarded my painting so you don't have too long to, to watch it for. I'm building up the layers, letting each one dry as I go.
all the time I'm checking that I am painting on the side with the stickers. So I'm turning it over frequently to check the, the front. Um, and you can kind of see how the layers are beginning to build up now on the Perspex. It's better to go for multiple thinner layers. It will dry a bit quicker, um, but really building those layers up and, and not worrying too much about them being perfect in the, the build up. So really important to pause and, and have those breaks to let the paint dry. Filling in some more of the kind of background now. And obviously you can mix the colours together to get all sorts of different hues. You can use other household paint if you've got, got other emulsion paint at home. And you can see how those layers have kind of built up with letting them dry each time and then adding another one onto the back. This is a, a very quick artwork just to give you an idea of what to do. Um, and once you've finished, uh, we're happy to take back any of the paints and pens and brushes and things that you don't need anymore. Uh, we can use them for future projects, but otherwise please feel free to hang on to them for your own creativity. Once you've finished, we'd love to see a selfie of you with your artwork and then contact Jen at Click to return them.